the dice roll back in the chat also. Thank you. And we're live! Just checking our channel. Looks like you can see a few people have joined us. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So we are just about to kick off the stream. So it's just hit seven o'clock right now. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes for people to figure out uh, Twitch, make their accounts, log in so they can make comments. Those of you who are already in here, thank you so much for joining us. I'm very, very excited to be able to bring the show to you all at home. See a few people in chat already. Hopefully, you can all hear me okay. If you could give some sort of indication, shout out your favorite snack if you can hear me. Right now, I'm eating. This is a, sorry, uh, it's a letter like <laughs> close to it, the N and N's. N and N's uh, with a pretzel inside them. This is not a sponsored post at all. Woo, popcorn, Tim Tams. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I was going to make a cup of tea for myself today, and I was really excited because I was going to do a Tim Tam slam, and because, you know, I have Tim Tams. Uh, and then I completely forgot to make a cup of tea. That's Aww. how it goes, you know? Just weekend life. It's just like, but instead, right now, what I do have is whiskey. So this here is the uh, Starwood ginger beer cask. Managed to get my hands on a bottle, and it's mm. delicious. It is very, so very good. Tasty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, I think it's time for us to get started. I might just introduce everybody, um, but before we begin, I'd like to start uh, tonight by acknowledging the Ngunnawal and Nambri people, the traditional custodians of the land from which we are streaming live from. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging, and I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people here today. I'm really, really grateful to be able to be a part of the show, to be able to bring it to you all in this format. Uh, Thank you in advance, everybody, for your patience while we figure everything out. Thank you, everybody, for joining us online as well. Uh, and I hope that you are all comfortable, that you have a drink and a snack, and that you're ready for some shenanigans. So first of all, my name is Helen, and I am tonight's Master of Dungeons. I'm non-binary. My pronouns are they, them, as you can see on the screen. And uh, you're tuning in to Roll for Intelligence. This is a D&D inspired live improv show featuring genuine Canberra celebrities. Wink. Genuine. Wink. So the way that this is going to work is uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, we're going to have uh, about 45 minutes or so to start off with. There's going to be a 10 minute or so interval. So a chance for you to go to the toilet, refill your drinks, get some snacks, have a stretch and all that kind of thing. And then we're going to come back for another 45 minutes or so. This is part two of an adventure, but you don't need to know anything about part one for this at all. First of all, let's meet the players. First up, we have got Canberra celebrity poet, Andy. Hey. Woo! You just have to clap at home, everybody. And we also have Ooh. Canberra celebrity writer, Sharona. Yay! And next up, we have Canberra celebrity pun master, Ewan. It's me. It's me. And finally, we have Canberra celebrity fabulist, Joel. What? Oh, spooky! <laughs> spooky! Hello. Uh, someone in chat asks for, is Ken Barron's going to be here tonight? Um, well, we are all genuine, <laughs> genuine Ken Barron celebrities. Just um, Ken so, Barron. yes. The Ken Barron was inside of us. Wait, no, that sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> ignore that. I did not say that. Alrighty. 
So, <laughs> thank you, dude. <laughs> I want to give a couple of shout outs as well. So, thank you very much uh, to all of you for joining us. Thank you to Joel for designing all of our beautiful graphics and to Ewan for hosting us on his Twitch channel. Alrighty. So, if you have never seen Roll for Intelligence before and are wondering what this is all about, uh, this is a DD inspired live improv. So, it's d d inspired, which means we're not going to have like character sheets, even though so everyone's made their characters, but they're not based on uh, any uh, like strict set of rules. Um, so there's not going to be, you know, rolling like heaps of dice and trying to figure out some basic maths and all that kind of thing. There will be dice rolls, though. So uh, there will be a roll like a d20 roll check for some different things. And if they roll high, great. If they roll low, great for me. Very, very hilarious things genuinely issue from a low roll. Everyone has got three lives. Um, so you can see that as indicated by all the heart icons um, uh, on everyone's nameplate. And it's kind of like in Mario Kart where you have three balloons. So, you know, if something happens, maybe they'll end up losing a life. Uh, I, as the master of dungeons, and the ultimate arbiter. So whatever I say goes. Uh, but, you know, maybe we can also consult with the audience. Now, because this is improv, uh, I am sort of beholden by international and galactic laws that there must be audience participation. So I, at points, will ask you all for a suggestion or something. And this is where you have an opportunity to suggest something um, in the chat. So let's have a practice. For example, um, what uh, what animal would make for a great familiar? So we've <laughs> got honk, goose, goose, cockroach, donkey, honk, honk, a, a disco, disco cuttlefish. Oh hell yeah, giraffe <laughs> cat. Is that like? Is that a cat the size of a giraffe or a giraffe the size of a cat? Or is it like it's a, a giraffe half, with half, cat obviously. Oh, obviously, obviously. <laughs> Tiny Which meat. half? Duh. Um, wombat. We've got a kind of dog. Uh, Tiny moose. <gasps> like this big. Axolotl. Diplodocus. Great. Otter. <laughs> Excellent. I like that it's just a kind of dog. Like, it's not just dog. It's a kind of dog. Mantis shrimp. Yeah, but like, only if you were in water. I don't know how well they would do outside of water, but very, very cool. Quoll, very Quoll. good. A potted plant. A potted plant is not an animal. Cracks all bones, but thank you very much. Uh, okay, so with audience suggestions, I will pick the one that I like the most. Um, and I like. Ooh, oh, man, sure 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 sure. Okay, <laughs> look, fine. Okay, very good. A specific black and white tresem. Very good. Is a potato an animal? No. A potted <laughs> dog. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with a tiny moose. This is actually very much in line with uh, the previous suggestion, which is how uh, Ewan's character ended up with a tiny bison. I think it's time for us to meet all of our characters, shall we? So first up, Ewan, could you please tell Hi. us about who you're playing? Sure. Hang on a second. We have had chocolate thrown at you. I'm just typing a really poorly spelled response to Bopets with his tiny moose because he won. So I'm just saying he should assume... Sorry, they should assume that they've had chocolate thrown at them. Um, yeah, if you do get chosen, you don't get a prize, I'm, af I'm no. afraid. Um, I'll give you a digital thumbs up. You can, you can screen the grab thumb. that. People who know my channel know the thumb. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm uh, Brad. I'm, what am I doing? I'm Richard Jeff Lee. Uh, and I am a dad bard from the College of Wholesomeness. Very uh, quiet. Before we go any further, am you and can we get some more volume on you, please? Yes, we can get more volume on me. Watch me turn myself Thank up. you very much, Mimi Mima. That's very up. much appreciated. I'm trying to be turned up. Yep. Oh, it's being objectionable. No, don't get turned. Just turn yourself turn. up. I'm trying to. I don't know if me. the kids use that language anymore. I don't know. I'm just going to have to fiddle with, like, microphones. So you want to yeet now. your volume up? I do. It, it needs to be <laughs> yoked. I want to get to it. Oh, my God. Why do sound settings always have to be so ridiculous? Manage sound devices. That's what I'm doing. Because technology. 
right? Device properties. There we go. Volume. I feel like this is a solid introduction to a dad character. It's such a good introduction to a dad character. What was the thing in the jig? <laughs> so this isn't actually, uh, this, this is just you and okay. showcasing his character. Go. Now I'm a bit better. That's a bit more. Hopefully people will be happy with that. I'm peaking up higher. I've made 100%. Project you and I'm not going to project because it'll be project. too loud in the house. And you know that, Anne Rock Lowell. Anyway, hi, I am a dad. College of <laughs> Wholesomeness. Uh, you might know other famous bards of the College of Wholesomeness. They'd be Weird Al, uh, Mr. Rogers, and Lynn Manuel Miranda. Uh, and I'm here Absolutely. to, that's quite a bit better. Thank you, Flemmy Thai. Flemmy Thal. I know that I always get that name wrong. Um, yes, so uh, I'm, I'm here to support people, uh, but I'm also here to inform, especially the ne'er do wells, when maybe they've. Uh, They've not done the best that they could. What would you say is your signature move? So I've got a couple of signature moves. Um, I didn't get a chance to use last turn, but not last turn, last game, but I'm hoping I'll get a chance to use this time around. One of my signature moves is you'll have someone's eye out. Uh, and it's basically if someone's running around with a weapon, I can disarm them. Uh, while at the same time also getting them to fully understand just the risks of what they're doing and how it's not funny and it's not clever to run around with a sword. Well, we're going to now take our first official audience suggestion for Ewan's character. Now, Richard Jeffley uh, ha like collects something. Uh, and when he's out about adventuring, um, always tries to look for more of this thing. What is something that Richard Jeffley, Jeffley collects? What is something that Richard Jeffley collects? What is That is like a tongue twister. All right, so we've got green ants, collect sandals and socks, <laughs> thermostats, heart, wait, like, like the, you know, Kalima, Kalima, or like, you know, uh, honey, a useful nut, screw, or bolt, children, oh, that's dark, um, collects bad decisions, barbecue paraphernalia, Ooh. discarded belly button lint, families, Bunnings napkins, gift cards. Bunnings gift cards, oil, <laughs> Bargains. Oh, fuck yeah. Seeds. I think I'm going to have to go with. Oh, we got a few more suggestions coming I'm in. Working I'm working full size, size replica, replica music. musical <laughs> instruments. So not actually functional oh, musical instruments. That just is like replicas. that is a really that is a really dad thing, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna cut off suggestions there. I'm gonna choose something out of that. Um, I think I really, really like. Um, Unworking full size replica <laughs> musical instruments. All right, there's your thumbs up. You can choose a left or right. What you can only have one though. All righty, so you and add that to your thing. Doing so, so thank you very right much. Now. So, that is our uh, wholesome bard, um, Richard Jeffley. Next up, let's meet uh, Andy, your character, please. I am Yonked Gonk, uh, ape folk barbarian. I hate plumbers, but I like barrels. What do you like about barrels? Ah, uh, they're round and they roll good. And what do you do with them? Well, I used to roll them to kill people, but apparently okay. in this world they don't kill anyone except plumbers. So now I just hit people with the barrel, well, and really anything with the barrel, repeatedly until it's dead. Seems effective. Uh, do you have it any seems... other? Do you have any other other hobbies? Oh, yes. I like climbing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like jumping up and down. I yep. like uh, abducting royalty. Yep. How's uh, that? How, how, like, so how successful would you say that your royalty kidnappings go? Well, I think it's most successful when you combine all of the things. So you roll mm -hmm. some barrels. Yep. Uh, you stomp some floors. Uh, this is not apparently necessarily in this order. Uh, you abduct some ro royalty. And then you mm -hmm. climb to the highest point. Yeah. Uh, and you just mix those things all up. If you get that right, it goes perfectly. That sounds amazing. Um, if anybody thinks that this description sounds anything remotely like a particular video game character, you're wrong. This is an original character. Don't come on us with copyrights. So, um, what are you hoping to achieve on, on, this, uh, on your adventures? Like, what brought uh, you to the adventuring life? Well, I... There's only so much of those four things you can combine in the village and its local mm -hmm. surrounds. Uh, and 
it can be upsetting for those that aren't into combining those four things, uh, which many, many of my fellow ape folk are, are not all about. Um, there's a select number of us who, who do it. Uh, and so every few years, uh, they um, chase us out of the village. Right, I see. Because, you know, so, every, every generation, there's a few more of us. Okay, you don't want okay. too many of us all at once in the village. Right. Climbing to the highest point, abducting people, rolling barrels, stomping just up and down. Though. It's it's what? Sorry? Just you're just abducting royalty though, right? Abducting royalty. Yeah, well, you part know, of the people, problem is when royalty. there's not a lot of royalty to go around, uh, <laughs> you do start to get pretty broad in terms of what royalty is. Uh, someone picks up the wrong kind of drink. Uh, you like, you know, someone cries at the wrong time. Um, there's, you know, there, there's plenty of things that can suddenly have you defined as some form of royalty, uh, and then you're gone. The drag queens, watch out. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Yongst Gonk has a secret. Oh. Uh, so everyone tuning in. Don't tell what anyone. Is, what is that secret, please? Yeah, Don't just yoink the rich. Just catching up on just catching up on the chat. I'm just looking for a pen so I can write this down. You'd think I could type it into a computer, but I don't want to do that. A secret. Ooh, he likes to smash terrified he has of a melons. Poor lean. <gasps> it's a man in an ape suit. He's royalty. He likes to melons. smash no. replica instruments. Terrified of melons is a man in an ape suit. Is actually a, royalty himself. He has a poor lean. I like that. It's like, hey, Lean, how are you going? I'm poor. <laughs> Sleeps in no? a red shirt and blue overalls. <laughs> I really <laughs> enjoy that Wombat's Poo and Quack Bones were <laughs> thinking along yeah. the same lines there. Like Pauline. Ah. See? Can't fly. Oh, well. <laughs> Easter, Easter eggs. Can't fly. Has a secret. Easter. I like how ambiguous that is, Easter eggs. Like what is yeah. the secret? With like the what Easter is eggs? what is the secret of Easter yeah. eggs? Like it's just like you are, you have them. Is secretly pining over the lost love of a very royal princess? I like very royal, maybe not just royal. yeah, not not just one of yeah. these random royals because they picked up the wrong drink or maybe that's the why. Wrong way, but an actual royal, the original jump man. Oh gosh, I really like. Okay, I'm going to choose one from the suggestions there. I really like that you're secretly pining over the lost love of a very royal princess. I feel like that gives you some motivation. Uh, so thank you, McKink. Uh, take of a thumbs up. You can take a left very or a right. Roy was very, very royal. royal. Was it princess or princess? Princess. What, specifically a princess. All right. Not just specifically a princess. Not just any royal. Mm -hmm. In in this particular case, it, it did was she a die in a car crash? That's up to you. Like Improv, am I right? More than an, yeah. ape an ape spurned. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thanks very much, Andy. So that is Yonked Gonk. Alrighty, Sharona, can you please tell us about your character? Hi, yes. Um, so I'm going to be a poultry. Uh, I need to do my hair flick. Uh, so yeah, I am uh, partly elf and partly human. Mm -hmm. um, I am a artificer. And so what that means is I take objects and abuse, um, so imbue them with um, magic and significance. Mm -hmm. So, like, what is it that you then do with these objects? Do you have um, a business? Do you sell them? Well, yeah. So mostly I try to help people, you know, and um, okay. to help people, I need to make money so I can keep on helping people. Uh, so yeah, um, I sell things, you know, sometimes uh, obviously I use them in my day-to-day -day, um, sort of adventures. Um, yeah, just try and help people. By uh, Sometimes you need to help yourself to help people, though, do you know what I mean? Like, it's self-care. Put sure. your own mask on first kind of thing when it comes to the plane. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Put your own face mask on first and then put face masks on other people. <laughs> yes, Plain for monetary stuff. gain. Yes. What but would you say? So, what would you say is uh, like what 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 thing that you have like kind of sold or like you know help people with? Like, what's the thing that you're most proud of? Hmm. I think I'm probably most proud of the face masks. So they're made from mm -hmm. volcanic clay. 
Okay. Um, yeah. So <laughs> it's uh, the far east, the far, far east. Um, I see. And they have really big volcanoes there. Yep. Um, and yeah, so I'm like the only one who has gone to like, it's very pure volcanic ash. It's not like sort of the mud you get in like the villages around here. You know what I mean? Like they're okay. Right. So you need to go really far away to get the good stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, how much do you normally charge for your products? Oh, I mean, it depends, you know, like I'm a very giving person, um, you know, uh, so it really depends. I okay. don't really don't want to divulge my sort of um, uh, know, I see. secrets. I see. I understand. I understand. Um, so what brought you to the adventuring life? Um, well, really, like I said, I'm a very generous person. Um, I just kind of want to get out there, make a difference in the world, uh, meet new people, um, and, you know, maybe sell them some things if their faces are bad and they need face masks. Their, their faces are bad. I mean, yeah, like, you know, these are villagers. They don't really get um, these kind of, like, higher-end sort of goods, but I'm trying to introduce that to people, you know? Okay. Um, now, viewers at home, there is um, a particular product that just went absolutely viral that uh, Guinevere had created, what was it? Oh. MLM, multi-lava marketing, love that. <laughs> so we've got some suggestions coming through. Um, wax wraps complete with bees. <laughs> um, hailing poison. Healing poison? Healing, healing potion, healing, maybe? Oh, healing, healing poison. Healing poison. <laughs> um, oh, a mask homeopathy. that permanently removes wearer's sense of smell. Edible live green ants. Um, lava wax face masks. <laughs> goblin milk moisturizer. Hailing potion. Hailing potion. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> a potion that makes you half an inch taller. <laughs> I want to say all of these. <laughs> I just love the phrasing uh, of it's lollipops. actually just dirt. Rock that keeps tigers away? <laughs> Possibly. It works in the Far East, it does. See through eyeliner. Oh gosh. Oh, this I like is really healing difficult. poison. I don't know healing what that is, poison. but I like it. <laughs> that can, you know, Sharona, you can have that one for free. Hydrochloroquine. Um, Just take a little bit free. at first and then more and more over, um, over time. Yeah. I think I also really like uh, just the, it's it's just dirt. Yeah. It's just dirt. Like, it's getting it's a little just dirt. Just, It's just it's dirt. Just dirt. Just yeah. Just, yeah. Right. yeah. I love sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. I believe the words are actually, uh, it's actually just dirt. Great. There's your <laughs> thumbs up. Fantastic. Goop kibble. <laughs> All righty. So um, now <laughs> last time <laughs> last time we were joined um, by a, a magician by the name of um, Basil Presto. Now, all of our members are part of an adventuring guild called Adventurers First. It's something that you just sign up to and then the call for adventure comes at any given moment when you could be in the middle of doing anything and then bam, you get like just teleported to the location to fulfill a contract. This means that sometimes even in the middle of missions, you know, you can just be called to adventure. And this is what happened. So if you were uh, there at our last session, um, Basil, in the middle of this, had been zapped away. And in his place, we have Joel, your character. Can you please describe what we see when Gabriel just kind of zaps in from wherever he was? I am Gabriel Felsol. Gabriel Felsol is a teenage warlock. Uh, his patron is the Bride of Crows. She is much cooler than you, and so extensions, so is he. Uh, you may not realize this, but that's because you don't get it. Uh, what, do you, what do you look like? Can you describe it as if you were a 15-year-old writing fanfic? Gabriel Felsol has deep eyes that betray a wisdom beyond his years. He has a very thin 
muscly, but not athletic like a jock would be athletic, but like, but like, you know, maybe maybe someone who's really good at dancing or you know just you know works out, but just enough. He's uh he's he's expression is mysterious and judgmental because he knows what you don't know. Uh, he's also the most attractive person you've ever seen, and you feel yourself pulsing in your chest a little as you look at him. Pulsing. Mm, just your, just whatever that thing that that normal people have in there, that thing that moves, that goes. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and uh, what bring what what started you adventuring? Well. My doctor said I was low on vitamin D, and my mum insisted I have an outdoor hobby. Fair enough. And uh, what were you in the middle of doing before you got, got called to adventure today? Right. I was actually on my own Twitch channel, um, just practicing hexes. I've got, you know, a bit of a following there. Very good, very good. Um, now, everybody, Gabriel uh, never leaves home without... Uh, a particular object whenever he goes out adventuring. What is that object? Oh, that is great. Oh, yes. Twitch, but T dash witch. Very T-witch. good. Something that Gabriel never leaves home without? Condom. Eyeliner. A Lincoln Park CD. Mascara. Sure, I can see that's you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'll take it. What are you talking about? Did you have a, a cinnamon vape <laughs> in one of the adventures? Hair straightener, <laughs> a soggy biscuit, limp if you will. It's actually just dirt. You just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Reusable straws, guy liner, that's definitely not eyeliner, fingers gloves, <laughs> tin of spaghettios, a gaming mouse, <laughs> mum's credit card. Happy Meal Voucher. I'm going to have to go, look, you know what? I can't go past. It's actually just dirt. <laughs> you never leave home without it. I love it when we can tie things together. Just Alrighty. Dirt. So, Gabriel, you have just appeared. Uh, you are outside a way station, and it is a mess. You are beside a wagon. Um, there is a horse tied there looking a little shocked. Beside you is what appears to be the wreck of another wagon, uh, and it is shattered. It is as if someone had levitated it up and then smashed it back down. Um, you don't want to look too closely because there is also a bandit that was inside that was horribly, horribly crushed inside. I definitely... Uh, yeah, that's you. You can't really see much of what there was of a person, but there definitely used to be a person there. The... There's also a uh, um, you've got you can see Guinevere and Yonked. I think you were you had just subdued. And, yes, subdued. Or, uh, sorry, subdued <laughs> a um a bandit. By subdue, I mean turned into jelly by repeatedly smashing yeah. with a barrel. Um, and Guinevere is holding a magical ring light that immobilizes them. Not that you would know this. Or maybe you would. You know, maybe you're into that kind of thing. Uh, so they have obviously just finished fighting. Um, there's also a tiny bison running around. He's a tiny bison. Oh, He's fine, again? by the way. Rowdy. Uh, so- Rowdy. Yeah. Rowdy so Gabriel has just appeared in front of you all. Hey, whatever, I'm here. <laughs> so Basil has just like gone, bam, Gabriel is now there. Uh, so two of your boxes that was on the wagon um, that uh, for your delivery um, were taken by this bandit. Had you retrieved them? I believe so. I think that was my intention. Okay. So now that you've recovered your goods uh, and, you know, your party is, uh, you know, are you, are you ready to, to go? Is there anything that you wanted to do here before you continue to s- your destination? Search the bandit's remains. Uh, okay. Which one? The one that you smushed? Yeah, well, he's right here. Might as well start with him. 
<laughs> okay, you find uh, a a rusty dagger. Ooh, rusty dagger. Yep. Uh, you find three copper pieces. Yep. Uh, you find half a tin of mints. Half a tin of mints. I didn't uh, know like, mints came like, in a tin. That's awesome. Like uh, pepper peppermints, not like beef mints. Oh. <laughs> peppermints, <laughs> not, not, not beef mints. You All also right. find um, mints. Yeah. yeah. What kind of jam? And you Sorry? also find... Uh, jam? Yeah, fi you find half a jar of jam. Oh, I thought that's what you said. What did you say before? After the half tin of mints? mints. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Preserved, oh, and jam? preserved fruits in a jar. That's and my jam, man. Three copper pieces... Wow. Rich. That's it. That's it. There's a, there's a reason why they're trying to rob you. Yeah. There's you a reason why they're trying to rob the you. you. You really didn't have very much. All right. Well, anything else that... <laughs> so we've retrieved, our, we've retrieved what we need to deliver. Yep. Uh, we have our thing still works. We've made this fraction of this area of the road a little bit safer by dealing with some bandits. Is anybody going to explain to Gabriel um, exactly what you're doing? What are we? Where? What's the job? Where do I have to go? It's a delivery. Uh, we're going to a place that's about another half day's ride. We have a box I mean, to deliver. I just walk onto the wagon and ignore the rest of what you say. Sorry, in the middle of what I'm saying. Yeah, we're going to go, and just get on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, what happened? Where's the other bandit at? Is he? Also, he's also. They're all dead. Oh, yeah. no, one of them so ran away. You killed, you killed okay, two cool. of them yeah. and yeah. one ran Another away. One, didn't we convince him to redo his life? Yes, then, you did. Then we killed him. No, he didn't. Not that oh. one. No, he, oh. he definitely <laughs> ran away. Oh, that, that one, one. ran oh. away. Yeah, <laughs> he reassessed his life, um, his life goals, I think. Thanks to me, by the way. You're welcome. Um, yeah, okay. So um, I still have my little tote bag uh, with, I believe... Uh, ten spoons and three forks are uh, very rustic, homemade. Yep. Uh, so I just had to get onto the wagon and get ready to depart. Yep. And did the you, rest of you? Did you need to get anything, Gabriel, before we left? Have you been to the toilet before we get on the on the I, look, I I took care of I got my shit on lock, okay? Okay. <laughs> I got my, my jar of it's just dirt. And I pick it up and I just rub some into my teeth and I go fold it up, put it away. Because if we go and in five minutes down the track you say you want to stop to go to the toilet, you're waiting till we get there. I like don't, we've got to make good time. I haven't drunk any water for like forty eight hours. That's just me. Terrible. <laughs> I give would him Gabriel, some water. Would Gabriel know uh, Guinevere Poultry? Do you think? I think I think they've met before. I assume we've all met each other on some mission or another. Most I reckon Gabriel's the kind of kid that only poops at home anyway, so we can probably be good to go. <laughs> Alrighty. So you're about halfway uh, along your journey. So you're back on the wagon, yep. and then you, you keep going along. So you're traveling through some, some forest, uh, and then you reach some pastoral sort of farmland. It's all very scenic. Nothing happens. It smells very you, rural out here, doesn't it? Maybe... Um, Ooh, nothing encounter? comes oh. and nothing comes <laughs> and attacks you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll perception. <laughs> uh, are you rolling for, for, for? I was rolling for encounter. I don't know if I should Ooh. if I should be doing that in front of in front of everybody or if I because I have my own dice here. I, I can't. Say, imagine like, you've got a bajillion dice. Roll do for I it. Roll in the Twitch stream or do I roll on Discord? Uh, in the uh, Twitch roll stream. in the Twitch stream. All right, let's find out. Oh no! I got to. Okay, so the, you've got to give it a few seconds between rolls. Are you oh, you rolling? didn't give me anything. <laughs> no, I got a one. So try again, <laughs> Sharona first. Okay. Let's try that. And you're rolling for perception, Sharona. Yeah. Oh, my message wasn't sent. I need to wait thirty seconds. Oh dear. Wait. So Helen so got we a can't six. Spam the chat. You got a one. Yeah, Gabriel, uh, Gabriel. I reckon Richard's just too busy paying attention to, like, he's trying to think of a good, um, like, farm pun, a good, like, rural <laughs> pun, and it's just well, not coming. So that's why he's... Well, I'm, I'm steering and, like, giddying up, so I'll roll too, because I've got to keep an oh, eye yeah. on the road. 
but you roll first. You do the. So yeah, sure, I just roll. So yeah, give oh. it a few seconds, and then All I'll right. take a yeah. couple of moments and see if I can make that less. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll manually, just while everyone's trying to roll at once. How convenient. I'm gonna yeah. be <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right, that's, that's... <laughs> I rolled a four. What are you rolling for? Uh, I'm looking out too. Isn't that what we're all doing? So we're all oh, you're looking. Yep. We all very bad eyesight, oh. basically. What did everyone get? So I got a six. Okay. I got I got thirty. Send a message not <laughs> sent. <laughs> so thirty a, in there. A five second <laughs> like, cooldown is the lowest I can do. I got a one, so I got crap. Yeah. It's gonna we do all... me for spam. I know it. No. it there we go. Nine. Ah. Uh, Nine. You're all rolling through this beautiful countryside. What's the uh, highest we can roll, sorry, on this roll thing? 20. It's a 20 sided die. Okay, wow. We're doing terrible. We're just a terrible <laughs> at rolling. <laughs> Somebody was out of 10. But Cursed no. dice. Cursed app. Yeah. Cursed app. So, Yong Gonk, uh, you see a cow. Uh, hey, a cow, everyone. Look at that cow. Gabriel and Guinevere uh, maybe see the cow. Maybe they're too busy. So maybe Gabriel's too busy and brooding, I guess. I'm I'm emphasizing the cow. Everyone, look at the cow. And look at the cow. uh, (laughs) Richard, you rolled a one. Is that correct? I absolutely did. You're not not looking at all. You're just like staring straight down thinking hard and you know when you concentrate so hard that you just like block out everything yeah. i'm just i'm just associating while i try and work out how long we've been yeah. on the road how long i was expecting yeah, you see to be nothing. on the road what time are we making yeah and uh good news is uh you just got some cows for company you know sometimes yeah. they just well, some will look up look everyone you reach. Cows. and then suddenly Richard you reach. goes knock knock who's there Interrupt me now. Oh. <laughs> well, that delights me, but I'm sure Richard would be a little bit put out that his joke was spoiled. Look at Ryan, another cow. <laughs> this is me. Oh, gosh. The <laughs> so you see some cows, yeah. and then eventually you arrive at the uh, castle town. So. Is it called Castle there- Town? Because we came from post office town. I hope this one's yeah. called Castle Town. Uh, I don't actually remember if I told you exactly where you were delivering the package to. That was Castle I don't Town think do. on the road, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think we need to go to the Baron of Retcon in Castle Town. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you um, look at the crates. Uh, you'll see that mm-hmm. they do have stamped on them uh, delivered the plot to. Points. Yeah, you'll 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 see that they do say delivered to the castle uh, in Castle Town. <laughs> um, so you you yes. Yeah, I'll be sitting there looking and be like, so castle. If the town is Castle Town, does this mean we can just sort of like dump them at the border? No, because we have to go to castle. the actual castle. The town castle is named after castle the castle town. rather than the other way around. So first castle we find, we just push them off and keep going. <laughs> well, we need to oh, deliver well. them. We can't just drop it off. Got to knock, knock, knock. Oh, you enter so the castle crazy. town and it's just, uh, you know, it starts off with a couple of, of the farmhouses, relatively small dwellings. Are there still cows? Um, no, you've passed the farmland now, but this is kind of where you're at the edge of town and you're kind of having, I guess it's just kind of like the equivalent of outer suburbia. Pigs? Uh, Are there pigs? You maybe hear some pigs. Uh, hey, Ron, yeah, can you hear them. the pigs? I can hear the pigs. <laughs> I can hear the pigs. No one else hears anything. Uh. <laughs> and so uh, you head yourself and you roll your way into the centre of town. Um, and you can see up on the hill there is a big castle. Um, but first of all, like you reach the town centre. Is there anything that you'd like to do here? Uh, we need to get the best route to the castle as we have a delivery. It's fairly easy to see. There is kind of one main road that goes up. And is oh. there a big castle at the end of it? Yes. Yeah. Are we still I think in we should the go wagon? Way. You're in the we're wagon. Still, we're still in the wagon. Okay. Yeah. Um, how does the dirt look? <laughs> the, around 
the ground the dirt around yeah the surrounding dirt uh make a like a nature check for me please nature check so just uh just roll a roll a just nine a nine are you sure this goes up to 20 no one's yeah, rolled a, over a nine i got a 19 before. if you scroll up but yeah I got a oh, 12. okay <laughs> yeah. i wasted right. a 12 <laughs> anyway a dirty mancy check <laughs> mimi mima Uh, I don't know if they came up in the chat. I rolled, and it says it's, I got a It's two. got a five-second call. It didn't turn up on the thing, but I believe you. <laughs> That's really weird. I was mostly just checking it. Uh, so you look around you, and there's dirt. Does it look like good dirt? Does it look like <laughs> um, actually dirt? You know, you're you're pretty sure that it's some form of dirt, but you're not sure if it's, like, actually dirt. Oh, well, I pop out and take a little sample of dirt just in case. And pop back I'll, in. I'll, I'll take out my, my little jar again of just dirt and be like, Guinevere, by the way, this stuff, huge time saver. Using it for everything. <laughs> Didn't get to brush uh, my teeth before. It handled that. Too much sun out now. Don't want to get burned. <laughs> <laughs> so every, half the people on this card are really fixated on dirt. Am I correct? Like, would it be obvious that they're really interested in dirt? Like one's oh, looking at the dirt on the ground, the other one's rubbing dirt on himself. Is this right? <laughs> I'm just checking before I do something. Would I notice? Yeah. I think, or well, maybe you should roll for noticing. Roll, roll for noticing. Roll for perception. <laughs> Not to be the DM. 16. Yeah, oh. you definitely, you, you, you're you like, everyone is obsessed with dirt. We've got a new mission. I grab a local. Hey, local. Castletown local um, folks. Yes. Uh, where's the good Hello? dirt? Where's the good dirt around here? Want some dirt? Good dirt. Um, I, I, I guess that would be out, out in the fields that's been fertilized, you know, because that's how we grow our crops. Um, so they're, they're kind of nervous because this giant ape-looking figure has just grabbed them. They're just but I'm out. friendly. <laughs> yeah, but they're from a they're from a farm like. Castle Town. They're just out doing their like, you know, some errands and stuff like that. Uh, that that's out in the fields, you know. Um, that's the, I, I do it's pretty good, you know, because um, we we have all of our organic manure from from the cows, which makes for some pretty good. Can I? Is that all you need? Hang on, hang on, hang don't, on. Can you come me. with me? I'll just drag them over to uh to the two dirt centric uh companions. Be like, Yonk, please, come on. This isn't just regular dirt. No, this guy knows Wouldn't where the it, good stuff is. Maybe it wouldn't just be selling dirt. This is just dirt. It's a this is local stuff. knowledge, though. Actually, just dirt. Local mm. knowledge. Yeah. Brand name. Well, like, I mean, with the fertilizers, there's a bit like too much nitrogen in it. It's a, it doesn't really it, work. I'm sorry. Like, actually, just dirt is very specific dirt. Oh, uh, thank you. And I let him go. Oh, well. Um, okay, and then they, they run. Uh, I, I, I rolled to see if they were able to escape you, your grip. Um, they were not strong enough to do so. <laughs> I didn't even uh, So they just kind of, like, scrabble away. <laughs> I, oh, by the way, where is the castle? Can we see the castle from here? You can see the, the road. road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go yeah. up to the castle and well, who, deliver our box. Yeah. You I thought we had a new mission. Is it a we cool can get some up? dirt on the way back. The dirt's not going anywhere. You've got, to do, okay, so, you've got to do your chore before you have fun. Everyone knows that. All right. So you <laughs> go up to are – you, are you going out your way – are you making your way up to the castle? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes. Definitely we've done with the dirt. Well, I have my sample pot. I'm, yeah. I'm happy. How, how cool is this castle look? Uh, what's your measure of cool? Well, you know, are there any good gargoyles hanging off the side? Roll for castle coolness. Fires. <laughs> Turrets, you know. Roll for turrets. Dragon raptor doing fire in the air. It's a pretty standard looking castle. Uh, you know, just made of stone. There's a tower. There's a, you know, it's like, it's not a big, like, 
pound thing. It's not like a uh, owned, but it wouldn't be one, say, for example, like a like a duke or a prince or something. This one would be maybe uh, you maybe you'd find a baron living here or something. So so it doesn't look like haunted or magical at all. Uh, not from where you are. So I would I'd, I'd follow along because I want the job to be over with, but I'd make, let it be known that I'm disappointed by dragging my feet the whole way. It's just a lot of scraping noises on my boots. Oh my god, I feel that. You got the you... cart just to do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you do, did you get off the cart to just do that? Yeah. <laughs> he's actively he's doing that thing that kids do where they make a point of making a point of something, but Richard is being very patient. Giddy up. <laughs> Let's go! And now you have Are been you... left behind. I was going to say, do you do that without Gabriel on the wagon? For you, it's firmly established the wagon moves slow ass. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to drag my feet next to it in protest. Yeah. I'm still trying. Get it it's a very worn out horse. <laughs> the, horse is, the horse is pretty tired. And Gosh, even though arrow, you try to like make it go, it moves like a little bit faster, but it's like it's tired, uh, you know, and it, it needs it needs some rest. Uh, but you do make it up to the outside of the castle area. So there's like the main gate. Uh, and there are a couple of guards um, out the front. Uh, hi, do do? Uh, we're from uh, Adventures First, and we have a delivery uh, for this castle here. Oh, uh, good day. Uh, and the guard, uh, she she greets you, um, and uh, she's like, you know, in sort of uh, leather armor and uh, has a spear. And then there's another guard um, next to her there. It's like. Okay, who's the delivery for, please? It just says for the castle in Castle Town. That's all the information we've been given. We are merely curious. See, it is says it, on the label. Is I it not addressed the label. to it's anybody? Not, no. Okay. Uh, I mean, weird, but still. Well, um, what's what's in the wagon? What what's the delivery, please? The delivery is a box. We don't open other people's. Deliveries? That'd be rude. I'm pretty sure Yogg Sprog did open it, though. Yeah, I, I don't did. Know that. I, did. I, just, <laughs> I just can't remember what happened last session. I have no idea. So I just start describing stuff randomly to them. Oh, it's got yeah. um, it's got some eggs, uh, and some gold, and some rocks, and um, some tiny little uh, figurines, and it's got a stack of stuff that's about this high, but they seem to have managed to. Uh, rearrange it in the box and so there that it fits and there's chickens there were chickens and eggs <laughs> and there's some bandit body parts um <laughs> and, and things people value yeah look at these teeth here fresh <laughs> fresh teeth can i eat a roll um and you can choose whether you're trying to persuade them or deceive them uh i'm telling the truth <laughs> okay, persuasion. So can you roll for oh, me, well, I don't know. Am I bullshitting or am I lying? I think I'm bullshitting. Roll for bullshit. All right. Nine. She looks skeptically at you, uh, and she's like... But I'm uh, showing her the teeth. <laughs> You've you got to stop helping? doing that, young gong. It's really not. <laughs> So she's going to uh, she, she so she uh, kind of like grimaces a little bit. The bandits, uh, these bandits attacked us for what's in here. Okay, uh, if you give me one second, I'm just going to confirm with you to uh, the bonus. to to, to find out if there has if we are expecting a delivery. I haven't heard of anything. Uh, this wasn't in my briefing. So if you could just wait maybe, here maybe for it's a, nice a second, surprise. and. Uh, Y you know um okay and then she's like just 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 wait here and she sort of just like starts running back into the gates t to probably find somebody uh the other guard is still there as well i show him like the teeth mm -hmm. i show that guard the teeth uh this guard really doesn't want to look at the teeth He's i'm really kind of grossed out yeah. busy busy day mate <laughs> He's uh, saying that while he's got the teeth bits of flesh teeth. hanging off the teeth. So he's looking, he's trying not to look at the teeth. He's kind of yeah. grossed out uh, and just kind of takes a second to realize like, uh, um, okay, uh, I, not not really. Uh, I, I guess there's 
not not can you can you can you please gonk, tell us to get the teeth? We, we don't want the teeth gone. Thank you. Oh, I've no. got an arm. Why uh, do you no more grabbing body parts, Gonk? We talked about this. Did we? No, we didn't. I don't remember talking about it's body not parts. He, a great thing. Oh no, I'm sure. He I'm runs. He that. runs back, <laughs> and then you hear sort of like a retching noise. Ugh. Oh dear. So there's now nobody at the gates. Okay. Well, I'm still waiting for the other guard to come back because that's what you do. Get up! Let's deliver this. Box. I think clearly, them saying we should go inside. Go in. So, Andy, are you taking the horse inside? Yeah. Giddy up. So, so the way that this just uh, try it. like it doesn't look like we're attacking them. Yeah, <laughs> we're like, so the through. way that the castle is laid out is yeah. sort of like a like a square sort of thing. So you've got your main tower in in sort of one corner with some buildings coming off it. And then it's, it's sort of like the four sort of walls, each with sort of towers and kind of rooms. And there's a middle courtyard uh, in the center, which is where, you know, you can see a couple of pens for livestock. Um, there's a few other guards kind of sitting and milling around. Uh, and this is where you bring the uh, cart into. Uh, and then just as you bring the uh, cart in, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a scream. Oh, goodness. Right, I start... Backing the cart up. Beep, beep, beep. I jump beep down to and try to find the source dock. of the, the screen. Oh. Yes, and it's, this it's is where we're going to call our first interval. Oh. Beep, oh. beep, beep, beep. Okay. How does that work? Everyone remember where we are. So we're going to take a 10 minute break. So this means that uh, you can all refill your drinks, go to the bathroom, get a snack, stand up and stretch a little bit. Uh, and I'm definitely not using this time to figure out um, where the story's going at all. I definitely know where this is going. You can also enjoy Grand Admiral Thrawn Cam while we're gone. We can't so do please take music this moment. Because we'll get muted. So we're going to be back uh, at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Feel free to put on your own interval music, music. Yeah. feel free to suggest things in the chat oh, as well for anyway, other people you should, um, to you should send the link to the spotify playlist we oh, have oh we we have a spotify playlist we can't we do, do have a like spotify playlist smith's. if you're gonna feel like you're at smith's on the couches eating your vegan brownie oh my goodness perfect. it was already in my clipboard from when i copy pasted it before it's meant to Indy be. Billy Vixen asks me, uh, where did I get my shirt from? Um, this one I found off a random fashion website that Sharona linked me. Um, and it's definitely some sort of knockoff because it came without tags. So uh, yes. it's something, for sure. something polyester that Grey was import. made mm. uh, in a Grey dodgy factory. Import. So this is not one of the most ethical pieces of clothing that I wear. But it does have cats on it. It does. <laughs> so evens out. Okay, I'm going to shift to our interval screen, and we'll see you all, all right. in the not too distant future. See you at about eight o'clock. Okay. Oh. There we go. Is it muted too, or can they just hear um, me saying this? <laughs> no, there's no audio as okay. part of this mix. I will unmute myself then. Yeah. <laughs> I was afraid there is no. Hello. They can hear us. <laughs> we can I mean, hear you. You, you shouldn't be able to hear us. You have internet issues? Uh, yes. Um, I won't. I won't reveal the. I think. Wait. Hold on. Hang on. No, no, so, they're not so muted. Audience Wait, can still hear us. Hear us. It's, we're still live on Twitch, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, to reveal.
I disappear? Here we go. We're back. Oh, hello, and welcome back to our show. Welcome back, everyone, to Roll for Intelligence. I'm just joshing with you. So I uh, hope you all have refilled your beverages, emptied your bladders, gotten yourself a snack, and have re comfied yourself uh, to wherever you were watching before. So, uh, previously, <laughs> our uh, intrepid heroes had uh, gotten to the, the castle of Castletown with their delivery, and uh, the guards have uh, just run away, and they've just heard a scream. Oh, no. Someone just dropped out. Sharona just dropped That's out. Sharona. That's Sharona. So, Sharona. Oh. oh. And Shredder's back. Hello, hello. In the same Welcome position. back. They're good. Are we in the same position? Yeah, yeah. it's all good. Oh. I don't have to faff. I mean, I could. And it would be exactly the kind of <laughs> smooth sailing that they've come to expect from my mixing, especially people who <laughs> were with me when I was twitching more regularly. So much. Ah, flail. All right. Now we're all back, back. Very good. <laughs> so you've just heard a scream. What do you all do? Well, quick, obviously, quick, Jeff Lee's it, running towards it. Oh, is it is it a is it a scream of excitement? Like, yay, I'm on a roller coaster. Is it a scream of oh, Good that's point. Is it a ow, I stubbed my toe. Or is it a scream like uh, a scream that one would hear in uh, music? It or, is a. Or. Or, or the or, television's uh, too loud. Deal on. Uh, ju it's just dirt. Yep. Has it someone recognised our celebrity? <laughs> it is a scream of abject terror. Absolutely, Richard okay. Jeffley is running in. So, you towards the dash yep. towards the sound of the scream. It's coming to the main uh, sort of um, portion. Uh, this is where sort of the living quarters would be. And uh, you're you're heading in that direction. What do the rest of you do? I'm I'm running along because I want to see what's so scary. But I'm mm -hmm. try I'm probably going a bit slow because I'm trying to do it nonchalant, like I don't care. Yep. Yonked. Well, we've got to get the delivery sorted. So I just finished backing the cart up to the loading dock. Beep. Okay. Beep. 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 Yep. And uh, Gwyneth. Um, I'm following, but also just sort of looking around to note the tapestries, um, sure. note the architecture. But sure. also, you know, I am here to help, so I'm, you okay. know, medium pace. Great. So we've split the party. Yes. Yeah. Three. Because we love you. <laughs> Are we that far sorry, also, uh, right. also, uh, sorry, it was, it was Guinevere, not Gwyneth. Uh, this uh, character bears no um, resemblance to any living or existing I made people. her up. Um, so, uh, don't worry, so Yonk Gonk, um, I, I imagine that you can move pretty quickly, um, so are you going to, are you just backing it up, or are you going, actually going to unload the, the boxes I don't know, well? I'm just getting it into the loading zone, I, I figure they've probably got people that do the loading and unloading in a, in a castle. Yeah, no one pays any attention to, to you because they've heard this scream, so they're all kind of also running in, like, you know, it's, it's a little bit like, you know, people kind of turning around going, oh my gosh, what's that scream? Um, so if you, you will have a chance to catch up. Uh, but Richard, you have taken the lead, and you are dashing mm -hmm. towards uh, the the main uh, living the quarters yep. of the the castle. Um, Guinevere, you notice like that like, this is a pretty like you know uh, I guess like a high end rustic is what you would call it. Um, Very so in. the uh, furniture is all probably locally made by um, you know because like it's a a lot of trade in the area, um, nothing too fancy, um, but there obviously this is, uh, you know, the home of someone quite wealthy, so the rugs are very nice quality, there's a couple of nice paintings um, and a couple of other things that look like they have been, say, maybe gifted by, uh, you know, the um, local, uh, more higher royalty in the area. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a, a couple of, like, mounted big game sort of heads and stuff like that as well. Uh, and as you're dashing through, um, so, Richard, as you sort of crash through the sort of, like, uh, you know, main entry, you head up some stairs, the guard that you saw earlier, she's, like, now huffing down. Uh, she is 
looking very pale, very panicked, sees you, makes a beeline towards you, and he's scrambling over, and he's just like, um, um, yeah, you, um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, help, 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 what? help, help, um, Upstairs? okay, uh, there's something, something's wrong. You guys are adventurous, right? You're, okay. you're adventurous. You can, you can, you can fix. You can okay. fix. You I'll can fix. Up. I'll go up. Yes, yes, they can. Take me there. Take Wait, me. You, you, come with me. You, you need to show me. You, what? You? I can't you, you want show me, to... me? Okay. Will okay, they let me okay, in? Okay. I don't want to like go somewhere that a guard isn't with me and get stabbed while I'm trying to help. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's going to be much Not... of a problem. Uh, but she's like, oh, but. Okay, but, um, okay, this way. Okay. And then she's kind of going up the stairs and just sort of, like, muttering, like, oh, my God, it's this is my first day. What, what kind of a first day is this? Like, she is, And like, as I'm running terrified. up, uh, I'm drawing the tools of the trade of the dad bard of wholesomeness, a pair of tongs mm-hmm. that I give a couple little crab snips to <laughs> as I'm going. Are they, like, the really super large like, oversized? One is. So it's basically dice shop. I've got a long one and I've got a shorter one. <laughs> Very good. And she leads you up uh, to, uh, you know, um, a, a room. So she pushes in, into the door um, and she's just like kind of hands shaking, pushing open, and she doesn't want to look inside. I will. And you see uh, Gabriel and uh, Guinevere, um, there's like just enough space for you want to see. Uh, Yonk, t- you're, are you I'll, making your way? Well, what I'll do is these mm-hmm. kinds of screams I usually associate with uh, my abductions. So uh-huh. I'll I'll grab my barrel and climb up the outside of this castle uh, yep. towards where I would expect the screaming to come from. Good work. Okay. Very, very good. You can you can absolutely do that. So you look into this room, and you see that there is. Just the sort of weird, slimy network that is covering this room. And it's kind of mucusy. And you see in the middle, it looks like a like a bedroom, like um one that is, is quite nice, or like a master bedroom. And there is a sort of cocoon in the middle that is vaguely pulsating uh that is you know maybe human sized right, this is this is currently metal as fuck so <laughs> i feel like i should go in here first this seems to definitely be my realm mm-hmm. and so I'll, I'll step into the room and 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 look around and check if you know anything weird with tentacles is about cool. to attack me and on his on his way past I'm going to give him a tap on the shoulder. I'm going to be like, good one, champ. And good one, champ, is one of my abilities to give someone a buff. Or if I say, oh, good one, champ, then it cuts away at their skill, but I'm, 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 I'm picking him up. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, so next, next time Gabriel does the thing, he'll be like advantage or a bonus or whatever mechanic you want to add to that. Is this something that the person has a choice in? Oh, <laughs> yes. It has to be. Yeah, it doesn't Gabriel, seem like how do you it's be not thing, it it? <laughs> Gabriel, how do you receive this? Uh, these words of either encouragement or uh, That's what's the opposite? It's encouragement. encouragement. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. It's uh, not. It's not a debuff. It's a buff. And while I personally was very interested in what's going on in here, and I wanted to find out, and I was already actively <laughs> engaged in the task of going to do that, suddenly a paternal figure. Telling me that it's not the way I should do, I don't want to do it. Now, I just walk in and lean on the door wall next to the door and be like, whatever. Uh, it's a little slimy and it's definitely <laughs> touching you. It's in your hair. Ah, no. Oh, I get some of my dirt out. Uh, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's my do. That's awesome. Guinevere, what do you do? Um, I have a look around. Uh, I would like to bring, uh, take one look around and bring out a sage stick. Uh-huh. What do I call them? Smudge sticks? Yeah, smudge um, stick. Yeah, so I'd like to light it and just start just waving, waving around. And what is the purpose of your smudge stick? 
Uh, just general degrossing. Okay. Can you roll for me, please? If you roll a 20... Seven. <laughs> it's funny because the thing is, no matter what you would have rolled, uh, it, uh, in this case, would have done nothing. Okay. Move what is cursed. It smells but like you sage do, now, though. But there is a uh, yeah, a, a nice herbaceous smell that, so that um, makes me feel better. I'm about to say a little bit, you, little bit of apple better. and a leg of lamb. Yum. <laughs> and Richard, what do you do? I think so. Gabriel was going to do a thing, hasn't? Um, Guinevere has been helpful, in quotation marks. I've just started smoking. Gabriel's just smoking. Um, I'm going to ease my way in, picking around the network with the pure skill of a dad going in to tuck in a sleeping toddler when the floor is covered in stuff um, and just get a little bit closer and see if I can see like through the pulsing cocoon. I'm not going to get super close, but I just want to get a bit closer to get an idea of that cocoon. And look yeah. around. And you were saying before that there's like mounted animals on the walls and stuff, like like hunting trophies. In this room, yeah. Let's say there is one. Yeah, because because if I do see that as a dad, like I would be physically incapable of not looking up and going, "I wonder what speed it was doing when it hit the other side of the wall." Just to break the tension. April, are you yep. eye rolling? <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel's eye rolling, Joel is applauding, right. and I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Yonked, um, what are you up are to? Any, at this point? Are there any windows into this room? There are windows. Are they big windows? Uh, they're like, you know, a, a person could fit through them. Can an ape folk? An ape person? <laughs> an ape folk could definitely fit through them. Oh, I smash my way in loudly and, and uh, obnoxiously with my barrel. And you see this room. It's got this weird slimy network of things, cocoon in the middle of the room. Uh, and uh, what would you like to do? I can tell everyone it's a pulsating cocoon that's human size. I bet there's something human size in it. That's it. Will it fit in your barrel? Uh, we could make it. Well, no. <laughs> Without damaging it, can it fit yes. in the barrel? Because I want. Uh, to, I think we I should maybe know. take it somewhere. I don't know how to tough this thing is. Study it. <laughs> It'll be easier to carry in the barrel. I think. Is is it attached to the walls and everything? Like, or is it like to the like ceiling? Some sticky or... ropey it's network. Sort of, you try and work it's... out what's in there. Being being a, a goth warlock with a multi class in emo, uh, <laughs> all of my magic spells are either goth or emo song related. So I'm going to cast dirty little secrets on it and understand what secrets lie within. Nice. You need to sing it also. I don't <laughs> actually know. I've I, I, Joel is too old for emo songs and has <laughs> most popular emo songs on his phone. Can you roll for that one, please? How much does Moobot hate us? While he's doing that, I'm just going to poke it. See how jealous... Just, and poke it harder and harder. Just to see how gelatinous it is. It's pretty gelatinous. Yeah. You know, you, you kind of poke it 15. and there's not a whole amount of... 15, that's a, that's a Ooh, pretty good roll. And it's just kind of like... It's, it's sort of, you know, uh, it's like if you were to stick your hand in like a big bowl full of jelly. Yeah, okay. So, but yeah. You know, okay. you know when you, you know the kind of jelly that has been made with like a little bit too much jelly powder, like there's not enough water, the kind that you would get at like uh, the old pizza hut, like all you can eat. So yeah. it's a bit mushy. So it's like, it's, it's yeah. Uh, so uh, 15. So with a roll like that, Joel. So Gabriel, rather. You detect inside that uh, there is a person, but not just a person. There's also a whole lot of other little things inside as well. I'll explain that. Like, there's someone in there. There's a lot of things in there with them. With don't them? Know, yeah. Well, I don't know whether they're friends. I don't in know them? whether they're, they're, they're being eaten or mm. they're broken them. There's a, there's a lot of potentiality here it's it's 
it's deep. I dig it. Um, maybe they're who we have to deliver things to. Do we just pile them up next? Can we make a bright light on one side so we can get a clearer view through the cocoon? Ooh, my ring light. Yes. There we go. I like to bring out my ring light. Yeah. Um, and just use so no, uh, so I you know, as I said, I'm an artificer, so I can sort of imbue my objects. But this one, I just want to cast light, but extra bright, okay. sure, for revealing. So you position the ring light uh, just on one side of it. Turn the settings up to max, so it's like maximum brightness, and you do see the shadow of like a person in there, and you also see like little translucent sort of globules that are slightly darker in the centre as well, surrounding it. Right. At this point, the guard uh, has sort of, like, you know, worked up a little bit of courage after you've kind of gone in, and she's, like, poked her head in the door and kind of, like, please, you you got to help him. I don't, I don't know if he's still alive in there or not, but... Uh, you know, oh, m- maybe if you save him. This um, is this the Baron or like the castle owner? Like, well, this <laughs> this is the Baron's room. Oh, uh, he's not supposed to be in there. Let's get him out. She looks at you like, no. <laughs> I have the power to always be able to abduct royalty. Okay. <sighs> so, <laughs> you want to abduct it's one of my few powers? So, abduct him from the cocoon. I'm going to abduct him from the cocoon. The co- I can't even say cocoon. The cocoon. Okay. What does that look like in this case? <laughs> Andy, we've oh. lost. Oh, oh back. I, back. I just reach in. You reach and in. Rip him out. <laughs> Slimily and gorily and messily. Because, but just because I've got a, this, this falls into the goth song category. I've got a song for this. <laughs> Uh, I, I help him by casting Stink Fist. Whoa! <laughs> beautiful! <laughs> I do not want to know what you had that up your sleeve for, but I'm glad it ended up this way. <laughs> what does Stink Fist do? Yeah. Makes, you know, helps him get his fist in places that they... <laughs> Especially you know slimy places. That I've, heard I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Okay, y'all... We'll smell after. All right. So you reach in. Yeah, with force. With, like, just two hands just kind of going in and just kind of grabbing? Yeah, like, this is this is a straightforward abduction from a gelatinous, like, cocoon. Yeah, yeah. How, could, how not... complex could it be? <laughs> so commonplace. Is... This is my thinking. <laughs> it is not difficult to get through this. And as you sort of reach in and grab him, it just sort of splits. Ooh! Uh, that was easy. And just like a wave of mucus just kind of like <sighs> splashes out at you, oh. and these like orbs uh, sort of uh, tumble out, and uh, you, the the Baron, uh, or who you presume to be the Baron, falls into your arms very easily, um, and and you know because uh, you know as as minor royalty, um, it makes it very easy for you to, to abduct him out of this cocoon. All right, I smell my fingers. Uh. They're they're pretty stinky, you yeah. know. Thanks thanks to the uh, um, the spell that Gabriel um, cast. However, it's only when your hand is in a fist when you hands and when your hand is not in a fist, it doesn't stink. Oh, what does it smell yeah. like? <laughs> you know what? Viewers at home. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a second is- to get my uh, comment deletion button ready. This one's for you. What is what what what's the specific sort of stink, please? <laughs> I already like it. And rock, rock. I just wow's realized, comment. like, I hadn't been asking in the audience enough <laughs> things. Bad and, meat uh, or this good is, cheese? Or good cheese. <laughs> Old milk. Old milk. <laughs> Did see a lot of cows. Parliament House <laughs> toilets. <laughs> oh God! How about at the Parliament House toilets? Probably better than Parliament House desks. I think I really like uh, crushed, oh, crushed ant smell. Oh, okay. that crushed, that formic. Oh, yeah, that's oh. Mm, not good, not good. Don't like it. Seven-month-old curry hidden in the back of the fridge. Oh, no, Mr. Honk. A depressed is this from toilet. Curse? 
I was gonna say, is that from personal? Like, ex- that sounds like personal experience. That's, there. that's a shame <laughs> comment. That's shame talking. Or it's like you know, in the, the work fridge, like when you discover that, like, just something at the back, like you after it just gets yep. so stinky, and then you just like. You know, you just do that, like, the you know, the monthly purge or whatever. Yeah, office fridges are oh, horrible. I think I... Oh, our, milk. Toilet, our toilet hand wash stuff, the soap where I work oh, in the no. bathroom smells really bad. It's so rank. A chest freezer you didn't realize was turned off for a month full of shellfish. Oh, no. Ooh. Thanks to my son reaching for the PowerPoint. Oh, <laughs> dear. That's... That is a that's, yeah. That's another personal you know, I think, experience. I think I really, I really like bad meat or good cheese. That PowerPoint yeah. line just on its own has a really dark kind of backstory, <laughs> taking away from the, the rest, of the shellfish. I apologize for bringing up any bad memories for anybody, people, uh, anybody in the chat here. Uh, so yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells like either bad meat or good cheese. You, you, at the same time. Sure. Yeah, at the same time. We've got two fists. <laughs> So, whilst Yonk, so have you have you put the Baron down? Are you just now smelling? I'm over my put... shoulder. Okay. Uh, so what? Sorry. Is, Is the, the Baron, Baron awake? Does someone want to check? Yeah. I shake him. Oh, I've got uh, my fist. Someone will shake him. Can I check the orbs while the Baron's sure. being shook? Forget shaken. <laughs> while he's being shaken, I cast "Wake Me Up Inside." Oh, oh <laughs> that could end really horribly, if, depending on what's been going on in that cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's orbs. start with Guinevere first. So the um, orbs. Yes, what are you, the orbs you, like? You look at them and they are about yay big. They're sort of jelly-like. Uh, and inside there is a little pudgy sort of creature with a lot of legs. Like a cute pudgy creature or like a scary pudgy creature? Depends on if you find uh, big insects creepy or cute. Could go either way. Not really an insect, sorry. More of some sort of like arthropod, like you know, uh, mm. you know, some sort of insect like insect like. Um, but obviously, like the larva of something. Uh, this is for sure. Eggs. Okay, I put the orb down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be like some sort – I mean, that said, maybe I could use it for something. But, no, I don't want to touch – I don't want to actually touch it, so I just put it back down very okay. gently. You have, yeah. you okay. have people Leave to it. touch the gross thing. Your, your hands are very slimy now, though. Ah. Um, but you do notice that uh, after, you know, your skin's quite smooth. That's something. <laughs> um, I take a little sample of the orb. Just a little baby one. Very good. And <laughs> – Someone in chat. She was hoping it was goop, not eggs. You got some goop though. Um, Gabriel, would you say they're Please colors? roll for wake me up inside. Yeah. Uh, uh, roll. Eight. Eight. Oh. <sighs> Man. This bot hates Go us. Home, yeah. bot. This bot really doesn't. Okay, so for this one. The Baron just uh, do, do you do you have to like sing these songs at at them or is it just kind of like you know like what do your spells look like? I sing I, a song, Joel. Sing I, it. Air guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I and this was this was an audience thing the first time I played this character. Uh, my my uh, focus is a Lincoln Park CD. Yeah. So I hold it in my hand I and I spin that. it. Uh, and we hear, we hear. I, I'd say we hear um, the the Bride of Crows singing a few lines of the song. Uh, Who sounds remarkably like Amy Lee. Mm. She's very tall. very good. <laughs> and uh, so the magic sort of reaches up the the Baron. Uh, sort of like makes a coughing sound. Um, and and uh, like you know wakes up. Mm-hmm. Kind of does one of these, like, <laughs> and has a, a, a hacking cough, and out of his mouth <sighs> pops out one of these little creatures. Is it in the egg or is it out of the egg? Out of the egg. Don't it look like? And then. Is it friendly? Another one. <laughs> and then he kind of sort of. <laughs> I, I turned him upside down. Are rarely friendly. While you're holding him upside down, 
and he's just like, "We're gonna get him Ehh. out." <laughs> and then he clutches at his at his abdomen. Oh, is that oh. facing towards me? I turn him around. <laughs> so he's not facing, facing you. <laughs> so he's not facing you. Yeah, I don't want to see what's coming out. My fist yeah. is stinky. <laughs> and he <laughs> he coughs out another and another and another, and they're just sort of like just kind of writhing on the ground. I shake him anymore. Are they the anymore? No. So the ones that came out of his mouth are not. So there any more coming out of him? No. Oh, I put him down. Turn him back <laughs> up. Okay. And is he sort of down and unconscious? Or down and, and uh, not down? He is um, just breathing. He's not really conscious. Okay. But so he is alive. So what I'm going to do... <laughs> my fist's under his nose to see if that wakes him up. <laughs> that does not wake him up. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one of my dad powers. Uh, the dead power is walk it off, champ. Okay. Uh, and I'm through the power of decatastrophization. Um, I'm acknowledging the event, but I'm sort uh-huh. of trying to to walk back a little bit the severity of it. Uh, I'm sort of picking him up. I'm like, you're okay. Walk it off, champ. And just yeah, channeling that to sort of get him up on his feet in case we have to run out quickly and we don't have to carry him. And just to make him can, feel can better. You, can you roll for that, please? I can. Because it's been more than five seconds. Fifteen. So, are you like sort of kneeling? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm like kneeling him? down, trying to pick him up. Like, come on, champ, walk it off. You're okay. He coughs weakly. Mm-hmm. Eyes flicker open. You're good, champ. You're good. <laughs> Who are you? Who um, are you? We're making a delivery uh, and what we're happened? helping out now. I don't know. You're in a cocoon and there were bugs. So I think we, we should need to leave get the paid room. for a delivery. We do need to get oh. paid for a delivery. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Um. This is. Oh my. Where. What is going on? And he looks around him. He's, he's sort of like coming to uh, and uh, sort of looks around and uh, sort of takes in the scene around him. And uh, he was like, oh, where's where's the box? What box? Oh, I, I opened a box. There was, there was, a, there was a package and... It was, it was, there was a delivery of, of this box, and I, I opened it, and these things just sort of flew out at me. And I don't really remember the rest. Okay. we well, uh, got more boxes for you. <laughs> yeah. We should do something about the other box. We should squish these, <laughs> I think. Have they heard anyone? Well, let's gather them up. Can they go in the barrel yeah, with what a are lid they on it so they can't get out? Can Sorry. you put, can you put the eggs in the barrel? Yes. Let's you're, put the barrel. You're the keeper you put the eggs of the barrel. Yeah. yeah. Put them in. Go for it, Richard. Do you all help? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've cleaned up worse. Eggs <laughs> in the barrel. What about the little running around creatures? What are they doing? Yeah, are they bothering us? Are they so like, they're sort of like starting to twitch a are little they bit. Like growing. Like, as we watch them, are they getting bigger or are they just remaining what they are? I think we need to stop them. So, because, like, no, so not, none of you were looking at them after they had fallen out and that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Uh, and they, they're sort of, like, you can see that there's bits of them that are sort of hardening, so kind of like, like a carapace. Um, but obviously they didn't have enough sort of incubation time because, like, that was interrupted because they mm-hmm. were, you know, shaken out. Uh, and but they are sort of starting to move a little bit, um, uh, and they're kind of like you know coming up a little bit and trying to find like you know sources of warmth. Ooh. Um, well, Don't I like would personally like to uh, use self care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I have some like uh, dehydrated greens. Um, they're like superfoods. Uh, okay. So I like to put them in my little water bottle and shake it up and drink it, and that's gonna. Uh, Give me a buff for my next uh, move. Okay, great. Uh, so then take advantage with your next move. 
Thank you. So there are about six of these little creatures. They definitely look bigger than the other ones sort of that mm -hmm. are in the, the things um their legs are a bit longer and you can kind of see they have these like like little chomping sort of mouth parts they're still only about um, sort of yay big how big sort of like yeah um i think we, be these? we might have to sorry switch them. Uh, do we is it, is it is it time to kill things oh hang on you just step on them they're not very big no it's 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 <laughs> the no it's where is this is a baron's bedchamber, right? So there's naturally going to be like a couple of big flagons and things off to one side. I've got a sword still stuck in my shoulder. Well, I was figuring if I could put a flagon over them and a piece of paper underneath, I can take them outside so we don't have to squish them. Well, I've been reading this magazine yeah. about swords, and I think we could just stab them with the sword that's in my shoulder. <laughs> Been saving let's it. All, let's all like go our respective ways. So I'm just going to try and step on one. <laughs> There's going to be swords and flagons and stepping yeah. ons, and that seems reasonable to me. Yeah. Okay. So uh, can I just double check what everyone is doing? So first of all, so Guinevere, you're going to stomp on one. Um. Oh, I mean, like I, I said everyone should, but I don't really want to because it's gross. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, you're deliberating. Um. Uh, Gabriel, what do you decide to do? If uh if if Yonked here is is going to kill them, um support him in doing that by casting uh here we go uh Nine Inch Nails song March of the Pigs whoa and have them all just hew and walk towards him. I heard some pigs down in the village. <laughs> and uh Yonked, you're going to try and stab them. Well, yeah, I've got been saving this sword, and I've been reading the sword magazine that I picked up at the way station. Yep. And the barrel is currently full of eggs, so I can't hit them with the barrel. Mm -hmm. And we've established that rolling the barrel over them doesn't over things in this universe doesn't seem to have the effects that I imagined it would. So I'm going to pull the sword out and hit them with the sword. Okay, and 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 Richard, what do you what are you doing? Um, well, I didn't necessarily want to kill them. So okay. while they're sort of doing this in the background, very like mm -hmm. layered comedy movie esque, I've there's like one specific one that I'm trying to catch in a mug. It sounds like you're doing the comedy. And <laughs> well, yeah, and, <laughs> and I'm trying there. to not kill it <laughs> with um, and I'm trying to slide something in underneath so I can take it and sort of shake it out the window. Alrighty, <laughs> shake it out the window. <laughs> Make it someone else's problem. Oh, we bug. Oh, I kill them. Some villagers got to kill it now. Thanks. <laughs> now, yonked. Okay, so oh, you sorry. let's Ooh. let's resolve this. Uh, so yonked, to... when you they they're not really moving a whole lot. They didn't get really get a chance to fully develop. So it's it's gonna be like it's very easy to hit them. However, when you cut into it, oh the no, first one. Oh, Andrew's frozen. We've lost Andy. Oh. No. Oh, he's Andy, back. Are you back? I'm just whacking them. I don't really know how to use a sword. I oh, was whacking them. <laughs> it's like smashing them. All right. I will. Okay. Well, I will get you to roll for it then, please. All right. Ooh, control. Two. Who <laughs> <laughs> hates this? So, you come up and you're just flailing uh this this sword around you have no idea what you're doing with it uh and in doing so just, you're yeah. just you're just kind of stomping around and uh because gabriel's spell is kind of hurting these things towards you and you just kind of like your foot comes down and you stomp on one um and it just sort of explodes underneath your feet Ew. and then it's sort of these these sort of fumes sort of come out Ooh. from it and it's then you hear and then you hear oh. <laughs> a sort of like a sort of sound. Does everyone hear that? Or was it just me? And then, unfortunately, <laughs> the sound is way closer than you expected. It comes from, uh, so this, like where the bed was, it's one of the those four poster beds. It's one of those that has a canopy. And then from over the top of the canopy, you see this creature. Uh, it is a huge insectoid sort of creature. 
uh, that sort of comes down uh, and uh, towards you. And it has like these huge mouth parts. It has these like big front legs with like big stabby bits on it. Uh, and it is, it doesn't really have a face that can just like show emotions, but you can tell that it's pissed off. Everybody, roll for initiative, please. All right. Okay, let's oh, take oh, five oh, seconds. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh, oh, 19. 19. No, five of poets. Five, four, three, two, one. Gabriel. Uh, roll. I miss. It's really hard to type with these. <laughs> That's why I did control V. pasted it. What? Oh, <laughs> and now it won't let me send because I'm just going to roll. How many roll here? Just roll a dice. I've Nine. got mine here. But wherever will I find a d20 to roll? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have a digital dice that I can roll. Can you here roll? we go. Oh, and you can see here on my app. I don't know if that is showing up. There we 15. go. Oh, that was a 15. Uh, is that for me? I got a I 17. Think... Oh, I got a 1. Why? Oh, no. <laughs> Joel, what did you get? 9. And you and you got... got a 17. Andy rolled a 19. Okay, so first off the bat, Andy... This humongous insectoid creature who's, uh, you know, just appeared uh, from above the canopy of the bed, um, angrily kicking, hissing at you. What do you do? Okay, so I'm going to use my power of mm -hmm. stomping, where I yep. jump up and down really angrily, and it makes mm -hmm. all the floors in a mm -hmm. building all shift around unpredictably, and mm -hmm. it makes ladders appear some places and disappear in other places, and climbing things fall down, and other climbing things get built up. So I'm just going to do that. Can you roll for that, please? Yep. Oh, no! What are you doing? All right. Uh, the app that I used is called Mighty Dice. Three. A three. <laughs> so I mean, it's an unpredictable power. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually have to roll for because I didn't think it would do anything useful. All right, so, let's see how unuseful it is. <laughs> you 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 stomp and you uh sort of uh is it is it just you kind of like stomping on the spot type thing? Uh, just like in um, the multi-level game, yep. uh, Yonky Donkey, where when he gets to the top and he yep. jumps up and down yep. and all the levels change uh, and shift around so that suddenly barrels roll good. Okay, well, this is a pretty um, well-built castle. It's made of stone. It's not very easy for it to just yeah. kind of shift around like this. Um, but uh, all of a sudden, a ladder just does appear, just kind of shoots straight out of the ground next to you. Oh, I climb it. So you you have a ladder. Okay, next up is Ewan. Okay, so it's a big Richard thing. Richard Jeffley, what is your move? Richard Jeffley, the problem is... See, I need to design good powers like Richard, so that when I roll, it might actually mean something. <laughs> well, if Moobot's not a jerk about it, like, this is like more than like three. I want to download a like a roll dice app the right now. The problem is most of my things are dealing with like sentient beings, and I'm not sure this creature really is a sentient being. Like it's. Uh, well, let's find out, shall we? I'm pretty sure it only rolls twenties though. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't disarm it because all of its weapons are naturally part of its body. That doesn't mean you can't disarm it. <laughs> disarm. It's in the She'll words. Disarm. Yeah. <laughs> That's Take not very dad like. Off. Like ripping something's arm off isn't very dad like. Could be. What's your move? I You're assuming it's not sentient. I am. I am. You know what? I, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to ah, because all the other ones are about how how are puns not... puns are dad like Brett, but I'm worried about this this creature here. Pun it, pun it, just ah, pun it. it. I'll give it an insect. Go pun. for it. Okay, 
Um, insectoid. So it's not insectoid, quite an insect. Insectoid, you know, you... An anthropoid pun. Um, so in, in the spirit of vicious mockery, uh, uh-huh. but from the College of Wholesomeness of Dadness, oh. I'm going to look at it and go, I'm not scared about of you. You're spineless. Oh. And try and do oh. some damage to oh. it that way. Can you, can you roll for me, please? Brutal. I can try. I do want it. To, you know what? I'm going to use the app because move on. No, use the app. No, use the thing that gives us everything <laughs> under five. <laughs> Lower. I Lower. cannot. S- Oh, 15. That was a 15. Uh, uh, that's it. I'm getting the, the app, app that doesn't give you anything lower than 15. <laughs> okay. uh, hey, audience, do we want to use the app roll or do we want to use the uh, tw- the Moobot roll? Oh, I just downloaded an app. <laughs> I'm just going to Google it. App in roll. It. My fight poet. <laughs> <laughs> just say no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Andu. So... Introducing well, the so sensibility the to it, Mr. Thank you. Just one is terrible. So the thing is, this thing is an arthropod. It has an exoskeleton, which means yep. it doesn't actually have a spine to begin with. Exactly. That's the joke. That's the power of dad joke vicious mockery. Which means that doesn't really do anything. Oh, oh my goodness. You just—it's—it's it... it's a little—it's a little pissed off. So it is now this creature's turn, and it is now going to descend from the uh, the the top of the canopy of the bed, skittering around. Um, it's got a bunch of different legs. It's definitely got more than six, and it's going to try and take a chomp. Out of it's the prawns. You can't trust them. You can't trust the prawns. Richard, I think because you were the last person to try and have a go at it, they're going to go for you and they're going to try and take a chomp. (laughs) Andy has never been happier. (laughs) I would have thought it would go for me, so I'm celebrating. (laughs) That is a 13. 13. Use the roller thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes towards you, uh, and it's just kind of like the, these these jaws just take a bite out of your shoulder, uh, and that Ooh. is uh, it's now like kind of just taking a, a bite on it, um, and that is one balloon gone Ow. for you. I have removed my balloon. Oh. Ow! 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 GM's dice are loaded. <laughs> it's a loaded app. It's just I'm using the app. Alrighty. Hi. Next up, Gabriel Felsol. What is your move? All right. Uh, I am going to uh, channel uh, a certain type of magic which usually heals, mm. uh, but uses. Uh, but instead, I'm going to use it uh, offensively. I'm going to cast Burn by the Cure. Uh, okay. And set it on fire. All right. Roll for the attack, please. All right, all right, all right. And I didn't download an app. I'm it might be. Use... Oh no. Google. Oh. Nice. Did you just type in Google? What's the number fifteen? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you just type in. <laughs> <laughs> Google. What's the pl- what's a high but plausible number I can show my game master? <laughs> <laughs> fifteen. Okay. Uh, so, you know, you've got your, your Lincoln Park CD and uh, using it to focus this spell, yeah. the power of the Bride of Crows coursing through you, your eyeliner darkens, and uh, then the uh, just <laughs> this creature. Uh, let's go of Richard Jeffley um, as, like, you know, little little sort of um, spurts of just like steam, like kind of pop out from a little bit. So from Richard? Creatures. Oh, from no, from, from oh. the creature. <laughs> <laughs> I that. can't really do a good pterodactyl scream uh, or creature scream or whatever. And uh, great. Okay. Sharona. Oh, it's me. What does, what does Guinevere do, please? Um, so. I don't know if anyone watched um, my uh, series 
I can't think of a pun for what a Netflix series would be like in role for intelligence in, in fantasy world. Um, but, you know, I sort of talked about the um, amazing benefits of microdosing. Um, but sometimes when you're in battle, you can't rely on small doses. So I'd like to cast, I'd like to use macrodose, please. And what happens with macrodose? Uh, I take an enormous quantity of LSD. Mm-hmm. Uh, which allows me to see the true nature of na- the true nature of things. Okay, so um, I sort of gain you... like spiritual understanding of everything that's happening in my vicinity. Can you... Can you Roll with advantage for me, here. please. I what though, Joel? Roll. Buff yeah, you buffed you. yourself. Uh, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, help me roll my really well app. Ooh, you're gonna take drugs or awesome seventeen? Way. Yeah, <laughs> I can roll again. Hold on. Just oh, boy. 20. It's 20. Oh, you're going to enter a parallel universe. <laughs> so, you're standing there watching this. You've just taken a slug of your green drink or whatever. Uh, you take, like, just, like, just so many tabs of acid. What, what form is this in? It's like, oh. A little vial. It's like a just like a you know very potion like an apothecary sort of vial. Uh, just I a think. little okay, a little Makes vial. Sense. You just you just down that and like, you know when they say like you know the third eye opens and stuff like that. You literally Whoa. an actual an actual third eye just manifests itself in the center of your forehead, <laughs> and it just glows. I'm galaxy burning right now, and literally just like. You know, your eyes, like, you know, like, kind of Avatar style, just, like, you know, a, a glowing, uh, and this beam just, like, shoots oh. out and just, like, goes right through uh, this, um, this this creature. I love rolling 20s. It's the best. So it was already uh, sort of burning from the inside, and it's just sort of, like, it was it was starting to, 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 to boil up a little bit, and then... Uh, this, uh, you know, you, you know when you see in, like, sci-fi movies, like, when a planet sort of explodes and it just kind of goes, like, out like this? So this thing just, like, explodes outwards, uh, covering the whole entire room in its, like, goopy innards, for lack of better words. You think this looks fucking sick. Uh, and this thing is just in pieces around you, <laughs> slightly smoking. Oh. And it's yeah. gone. That was cool. Well done. You have solved my giant arthropod riddle. Uh, <laughs> was a <it> riddle? Joke. <laughs> 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 The puzzle. The Baron, the the Baron sort the of puzzle. like is just kind of like sitting there, just like, oh my god. Uh, yep, that's the last time I do um, courier service when I'm really, really drunk late at night. I just there's been a lot of deliveries over the last like week. It's been a really like hard time. I've been having a really hard time. Well, there was that plague uh, that had us all gotta, stuck in our gotta, castles, so it's only understandable that you want to get stuff delivered to you. You've got to stay off Wish when you're drunk. Yeah, so whole, <laughs> like, literally whole, Wish, like wishing spells. The whole story about the fact that I buy stuff when I'm too drunk to remember on Wish, just to surprise myself in the future. <laughs> Joel, you were the Baron all along. Well, you've got one more delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to assume that was, that was one more delivery. Pay up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, you know, the, the Baron organizes the, uh, the payment, uh, looking just like kind of a little bit embarrassed. Um, the, you know, the guards are just looking and and the other castle staff are just looking like a little shell shocked. Um, also just kind of a little irritated because now they have to clean all this up. Um, you get paid, your contract fulfilled, and you have successfully completed your contract for the delivery of these goods. Do the Baron of Castletown. Richard is quite chuffed. I'm going to gather up as many bits of, like, burnt 
badass looking chitinous shell as I can. Mm-hmm. Be part of my art later. I'm going to write a letter to my mum oh. about the cows that I saw when we were riding through well, the that's countryside. Delightful. And the pigs that I heard. Squeak, Maybe, squeak, what do you squeak. do post now that now that the uh, t- task has been completed? A little bit more of that goop. Um, I think it could be my next viral bestseller. Oh, and I also, I also gift um, uh, Gabriel like a little extra container of dirt. Uh, not ju- actually just dirt, and I also sign it because oh. I'm good like that. I, I I pretend to be less excited than I am. How much does it hurt Gabriel to not be as excited as he actually is, like physically? <laughs> Very good at it. Yeah. Wait, is he? Alrighty. Well, everybody, that does bring us to the final part of uh, this arc for Roll for Intelligence. Thank you, everybody, for joining us at home and uh, online. Thank you to all of our wonderful players. So I hope that all of you at home are giving a huge round of applause for Joel, Ewan, Andy, and Sharona. And my name is the Helen. Chat with good comments for Helen. <laughs> and I have been your uh, master of dungeons for this round. I've had the best time. Thank you so much for taking the time for us. Um, And depending on how things go, we will either see you in person for our next show or we may be online in this format again for our next one. 25th of September is when we're booked in for our next live show at Smith's, 6 p.m. Or Or a a brand new adventure. A brand new adventure. Am I running this one? I think you might be. I I think think Joel is next up on the roster. So... For those of you who are in Canberra, hopefully we'll be able to see you. Um, however, I have had the best time being able to bring this to, um, to you know, this a different platform, and it means that we've been able to get more people oh. as well. Um, also, uh, there is, I believe, a coffee account for our uh, show as well. Um, so if you would like to, you can throw a few dollars in there. Those funds go towards things like um, when we book rehearsal spaces, um, and like admin kind of handling things, so things like uh, boasting, boasting posts on social media and stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes right. fried chicken. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, sometimes it goes to fried, fried chicken. chicken. Oh, so um, so the, that stuff on. will all be, I think the link will at the very least put it onto our uh, Facebook page. Otherwise, we really, really hope that you enjoyed the show. Thanks so much. Um, let us know how we did. We'd love to hear, like, how this format went for all of you as well. Yes. Otherwise, I think we will call it there and say goodnight to you all. Yeah. Oh, my hands look Bye-bye. weird. Green screen. Uh, it's very strange. <laughs> it's terrifying. Hello. Surely there's got to be a link I can send. Share your page. Yep. Are we, we're still... We are still... We're still live. We're still live. I just <laughs> want to send that link. We're still live. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, is the link okay, Ewan, as well? Uh-huh. Apparently it doesn't work. Because it needed a hyphen. A dash, a hyphen, yeah. There we go. There's the link. You guys are awesome. Thank you all. And thank you for chats and engagement. And that was a lot of fun. Bye-bye. We go bye-bye now.